This is Odin's Wolf Survival in the sunlit subterranean caverns of Wolfhaven. Today, I've been asked several times about some of the cordage reels that I have. They usually pop up on different videos or different pictures. And they're easy to make with any... I, I just started using bamboo because it was... Bamboo chopsticks are cheap. You can get them at Wally Mart for a bit of nothing. 12 pairs in there and I believe that's where I got those had them for a little bit cut them off usually takes two to make one of decent size these are five inch through here the one we'll be doing today is well six inch and an inch and a half wide because I want a little bit bigger one the only thing you really need is bamboo chopsticks something to mark with a bit of cord if you're going to do the cord you don't have to as you can see on this one i just like the cord it strengthens things up somewhat super glue a small saw or a knife or something along that line i've got this flush cut saw Irwin. that works well they nice fine teeth they're pretty sharp they cut well and they're handy to have in the kit we also have the Mora, I believe it's a 510, and I got that from Ragweed Forge. That we'll use to trim up around the cut edges to make it a little nicer. And super glue. This thing's held together with super glue. It's the easiest, fastest method to do it. So, there you have it. Let's get started. Take your two chopsticks, measure them out. Figure you want your dimensions in. I'll usually try to keep it in before it starts tapering or tapering very much. That way it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so we're gonna go six inches for the first mark. That'll be the initial cut. That'll be the sides. Then the inside, I want them an inch and a half wide. This will be a little bit bigger one when I'm twisting up cordage for a project I'm doing, I'll usually, as you, as you can tell, I'll collect quite a little bit of cordage. Do that twice. Then you'll set up something to keep your stick up to where you can cut it. Brick, another piece of wood, it doesn't really matter. A better workbench, however you want to do it. And then just cut through this. This is a pull saw. I need to get a new one, it's kind of dull. But after you cut through, make all your cuts. Then, once all your cuts are made, you'll have this. Okay, two short pieces will go on the inside, like so. These two pieces are scrap, or you could do a needle, a big bamboo needle, like that, but that's for another day. Okay, then what you'll need to do is once you get to that point, you'll mark the insides of where you want these to sit. So you can mark whatever measurement. I took two and a half inches in. I'm going to set them on the outside. And since bamboos is chopsticks or rectangular cross section, I tend to stand them up instead of lay them down. Just looks a little nicer as far as I'm concerned. And I leave the whatever's on the outside just for grins. That's just me. Okay, you got it set up to where your marks, where you want your marks to be. And I'm lining mine up on the outside of the pencil marks just slightly. As you can see right there, and they're on both sides. Open up your super glue, make sure everything's clear. 
and apply just a tiny little bit to each joint. You don't want to run completely through and glue your project down. And once you glue your project, you let it sit and wait for a bit. Okay, once things are glued and set, this is still a little, it's held together, but it's not super strong yet. Strong enough for the next step. Take a piece of string and a needle, and in this case I just made one. Glue the end of your string, hemp cord, whatever you want to use. These these versions are hemp. This is a cotton cord. Just it was the first thing I grabbed, so that's what I used. And then lace it all together. And you start lacing. I pull these through in a figure eight. About a quarter, just kind of guesswork. You can always go back and add more, or you can just leave a leave a little bit. I've done them where on both sides on a single pivot or on a single central piece there's multiple ways you can do this these are kind of handy and they'll hold quite a bit of cord and if you make them a little bit bigger they'd work good for hand fishing actually these would probably work pretty good they're actually once you've got the cord in it and the cord saturated with glue they turn out quite strong. Once you have your cordage lace or your cord lace through there, you can use cordage, you can use whatever you want for cord, cord, string, anything. Anything that suits your fancy. Like I said, this is cotton. Then I'll go through and I'll soak some super glue into it just to stiffen it up. There, it's pretty well, it's pretty well dry already. That's set up pretty good. The stiffer you can make that, the stronger your your cord will be, your cord holder will be.
let everything sit and dry. Trim up the end. And then start putting your cord on. As you can see, it's <laughs> really pretty damn strong. Go through, and I'll go through and Let everything dry. Really good. Trim it up. And that'll be your reel. This is Odin's Wolf Survival. We're making cordage reels today. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Helps me out with YouTube. I appreciate all the people that watch and follow. Thank you very much. Have a glorious day.